Hola, this is Valle, and I'm going to show you how to go from this to this in Unreal Engine using Metashoot. Um, so what we have here is just a, a, an empty scene, a new scene with these assets that I got from the marketplace and from Megascans in uh, just a, a skylight, like an infinite light here. So to get this into our photo studio, I'm just going to delete the skylight. I'm going to come to presets in Metashoot and I'm going to pick just one. Um, so automatically the studio is set up on top of it. I'm going to get rid of the sample model. And we have our our model already in the in the photo studio. Um, I'm going to start by selecting the camera and pinning it down to the view. So that way I always have this preview here. And I'm going to move the camera and the target to frame the, the composition. So something like this. And now I have to move the camera backwards quite a bit, just so everything remains in, in the shot. And maybe a bit higher, just so we get that part of the plant that's missing. Something like that. And let's frame it. Yeah, there we go. Um, now that, that we have the composition um, sorted, we can test out a few uh, lighting presets just to, to have a good base to start with. So I'm gonna, let's say, this is just for a, this is more of a Star Wars feeling. Not quite what we are after here. Um, I don't think we want a green screen either. This is actually quite nice, quite a, yeah, a indirect light. Uh, but I think I'm gonna go straight for the last one. Yeah, this one is, is more um, more of a product visualization uh, preset. So for this for this scene, I'm gonna make the the cyclorama slightly bigger. Um, you see the the scene looks like a like it's in a bigger sp in a bigger space, and I'm gonna add another um, another overhead light bank from the from the assets from Metashoot, and this one is just going to be to light up the the background. So I don't want this to affect the uh, the objects, so I'll just point it in that direction and I'll center it down slightly. So with that in place, yeah, that's a good one. Um, I'm gonna increase the intensity just a bit so it doesn't look that, that dark. And with this, I think, um, I think this top light is giving too much light here at the front, so I'm gonna just Rotate it back to its original position and sort of center it down to the to the furniture, um, something like that. And I'm going to increase the size to 1.5, the scale, so the the light comes a bit more um, more diffused from from the top. Um, this is looking pretty nice already. I think. I'm gonna go for a, a neutral background color, so more of a, a gray, just the saturating the, the cyclorama. Already from the, the cyclorama interface here. And this is looking pretty nice, as is. Um, I might just lower this one down a bit so it doesn't give that much light to the top part. And probably decrease the intensity a bit. Even turn it down. Nah, we need we need a bit more more light there from the right. Um, yeah, something like that can be nice. This one, I'm gonna do the same, increasing the intensity a bit more, and just maybe coming more to the, to the side, so we have more, uh, more light on this left side. And I think this is looking pretty nice already. This could work for a catalog, as is. The only thing left is I see these uh, bloom going on a bit too hard so I'm just gonna select the, the DSLR DSLR camera look for uh, gloom and I'll lower the intensity down to something like 0 0.02 um, yeah that looks fine um, now that I have the camera selected I can just go straight to the render tab I'm gonna go for a ultra high quality render using just the path tracer and I don't want any denoiser or motion blur since this is a static uh, static shot. 
and I'll go for a 4K image for this one. Um, with all that in place, and I already have the just the default uh, output path to the project, so I'll hit render, and our Metashoot rendering window pops up. This will take a bit, so I'll be right back once this is done. Awesome, so the render has just finished, and if I go to the uh, project folder, I have it ready here. So this is a render, as you as you've seen, took no time to prepare the lighting, everything in the studio is already set up, uh, just tweaking a few things here and there, and with one single click and a few adjustments in the settings, you already have a proper uh, catalog image that you can use in, in your website or in your in your physical products and, and all that. Um, so yeah, I hope you, you enjoyed the tutorial and if you have any questions, please flick me an email to valle at vinzi.xyz. Thanks for uh, visiting. See ya.